Sound check, one, two, three. Sound check, one, two, three. Okay, the final sound check before I go public. <laughs> okay, the final sound check before I go public. Okay, sounds fine. I go public, but in the meantime, uh, before someone comes over, I'm just going to make a post in my community tab about the stream. Okay, we are public now. Okay, sounds fine. I go public, but in the meantime, uh, before someone comes over, I'm just going to make a post in my community tab about the stream. Okay, we are public now. Mihalik, yo, hi Mihalik. Probably need to mute my stream so I don't hear myself twice. How are you doing? Finally got my fallout, so I am doing great. You? I'm okay. Just living my regular life here. Life is a bit, you know, monotonous because uh, I don't do much. Uh, four days a week I am at my integration course. The other three days I'm just uh, being sad and stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. How did you get your fallouts anyway? Sorry if we're not talking much right now, I'm just kind of making an advertisement of this stream. <laughs> Had to buy them, it was only like 10 euros. Damn! But what about uh, all the stuff that you had? Like everything that was connected to your account, your characters, your stash and stuff? Did you lose it all?
Lost it, bro. Sad as fuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can imagine. And have you tried contacting the support team? Maybe they could uh, provide you with some help or something? Or was it pointless? Damn, I don't know if they told me that I lose all my followed stuff. Everything that I had uh, in my inventory, all my characters, all the thousands of hours that I put in it. I would probably just quit it. Nah, it's Bethesda, bro, like they care. Damn. I feel really sorry to hear that. For me, the game was a big deal and... Uh, I know that you spent there quite some time too. Sorry to hear that, really. And the post is published. I'm going to try to start a game now. The game, sorry. I wonder if it is even going to run or something because I haven't I haven't tried it yet to be honest. But I need your help with the start, don't remember much. <laughs> well, I'm not playing that game till the brack is back, sorry. I really want to play it, honestly, but uh, I don't know, feels wrong, kind of gave myself a promise not to play it until the brack is back from war. And the game is pretty casual, actually, so you shouldn't need much help. Just follow the quest and stuff. They have so much of new content, I believe. New dungeons and quotes. Expeditions. Events and lots of other things to grind. It's okay, we can call and you can teach me again. <laughs> I don't know how good is this idea, to be honest. Okay, the game started, surprisingly. It is in English, very good. Let me just set up the resolution. I need the excavator armor and I don't know how to get it. Google it, because uh, they have Wikipedia for Fallout. A special Wikipedia only for Fallout. And you could see all those things over there. There was a quest for that armor, but where do you pick that quest up? I have no idea, so I would need to Google it too. Okay. I guess I can switch to game. Really? Nice. Yes. Yes. Has been there pretty much forever. Okay, stop the music. 
and I'm switching to the live scene and I probably need to set up a window so Fallout is being displayed oh no I don't want to show you my desktop <laughs> privacy Window game capture, here it is. <laughs> How did I not know? I don't know, I don't know really. Because every time I wanted to grind something, I was first thing I was going there. I see when the game is displayed on the stream and I start playing. You can show us a cucumber on your desktop. It's not a cucumber. It's just a very cute picture that my girlfriend made for me a couple of years ago. If you still have it. Did I have a cucumber on my desktop? And what's up with the game though? I cannot see it on the stream. Yup. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I really don't remember it. No, really, I don't remember it. I kind of have some vague memory about that in my head, but... Should be in our chat. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Maybe after the stream I will look it through. But the game is not displayed on the stream. It's concerning. Okay, I start the game again. Hmm. If I do this... No, still no? What the fuck? Damn, my streaming app cannot grab the game, what the fuck? So freaking weird. And I cannot capture my screen because uh, it's a bit messed up. Mew, 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 mew. I'm wiggling with my mouse, so I don't know if you see it or not. But I guess you don't. 
By the way, why don't you stream on Twitch first? Uh, because I don't know how. And second, uh, streaming on Twitch and YouTube at the same time is not legal. And I kind of want to stream on YouTube. Okay. Oh, something happened. Hmm. Should I restart my stream? Maybe my uh, app got broken or something? What have I done? Holy shit. I saw obvious. <laughs> yeah. You did. Okay, I try it again because that OBS thing, it was not working. Even though I put it on the screen capture, like the whole screen here. Uh, you should see OBS, but do you see the game? I will wait for a bit. If it works like this, then today I stream like this. So I'll wait for a couple of seconds. Because somehow I cannot see all this crap on my uh, stream. Because I'm not live. Ah, okay. What about the sound? Do we have sound? Can you hear the game? There is some background music playing. It is from the game. It works. Amazing. Amazing. Very good. So, yeah, answering your question, I don't know how to stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time, and it is not really allowed, but I would do it since um, I'm not obliged to pay any taxes or uh, YouTube or Twitch. They don't pay me anything, so I'm kind of a free bird, you know? Yeah. So I'm going to start the game. This game is not about Strelok, but Strelok is one of the main characters in this game. We are going to play as a Merc, which name is Escar, which has a unique ability to survive those blowouts. But there is one big but. And what kind of but? We are going to see very soon. So I started. It looks much like the first game, but not really. And this time I have no mods for the game. We'll see how it runs. If I'm happy with the quality, since I haven't played this game in forever, I have no idea how it looks like. So yeah, if the quality is satisfiable, then I don't install any mods. But if I install some mods, I might need to replay it from the beginning. But yeah, let's watch the cinematic. In actual fact, we have nothing to worry about. According to our research, the next emission will not occur for at least two months, four days and seven hours. Its intensity will be three on the Bergman scale, which is 2.1...
This is not it. Without going into detail, I must say I have never seen anything like this before. The encephalogram suggests serious damage to the nervous system, but the other indicators couldn't be better. It's... it's astounding. Perhaps it has something to do with the emission. Most certainly, although so far I've been utterly unable to formulate a rational explanation for this abnormality. Damn, Lebedev sounds like such a pussy in English. My head is splitting and spinning too. Basically, I'm in real good shape. Okay, I remember leading an expedition through the swamps, bunch of scientists, then the mission, that's it. Where am I? Is this heaven? Then why does it look like so much like the zone? Clear sky, and you are in our base right now. We picked you up in the swamps after the emission. Oh, I guess I got lucky then. I doubt it. The facts are these you survived the emission. That's the first thing I still can't explain. The second thing is that our patrol found you in the swamps, which are essentially endless quicksand. And thirdly, you nearly got torn into shreds by a pack of pseudo dogs, but our boys got you out just in time. Such a chain of events tells me it's more than just luck. Anyway, hmm. I need to finish what I'm doing. So let's continue this conversation later. Okay, Baba Lebedev. And he sounds like such a pussy. Now, at this point, I really want to show you how Lebedev sounds like in the Russian version. Yeah, we have controls. Лебедев, чистое небо. В прошлой серии Шрам отправился на болото. Там some random people are talking. Sorry. Uh... I'm just trying to find his voice when he's talking. Listen to this. Here, this is Lebedev. Some random guy. And now Lebedev. Let me skip. Моя фамилия Лебедев. Я начальник группы и отвечаю здесь за все и за всех. Damn, and our Lebedev sounds like me 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 me. This is so sad. But okay, let's mess around this place for a bit. Talk to people. Uh, steal some stuff from them. We have a new minimap. We have a bunch of new systems here. And we need to talk to the barman right now. We are at the base of clear sky. This guy is sleeping. Dude, I haven't slept for three days. Or is it four? Let me catch some Z's, right? No Z's allowed in this chat. And my stream is constantly uh, on YouTube. Behind. So I'm not really up to date with what is happening really. Oh wait, I forgot to change the binds for quick save, quick load, because I tell you one thing, at some point I mess up, F5, F9, nice, okay. Glad to see you, got any new questions for me? Glad to see you. Ugh, disgusting. 
Oh, this guy has a lot of questions. Uh, has a lot of stuff to tell us. I'm glad to see you, young man. You look considerably better. Oh, I, I, I didn't notice you coming. What? I've seen all types of folks in the zone. Some come here chasing their dreams, some in search of the zone's wonders, and some are just looking for loot. Why does Clear Sky study the zone? People are mistaken in their belief that they understand the essence of what the zone truly is. Some consider it to be a universal evil, others a wonder sent down to humanity, and others still consider it no more than a source of riches. They are all wrong. The zone is impossible to understand when viewed through the prism of human perception. Moreover, it is far too early for humans to even try. Ergo, the actions of both the government and stalkers with respect to the zone are misguided, and I fear that the potential consequences may be or indeed are completely unpredictable. Naturally, this represents a terrible danger. So we can ask him what is the what zone and just... Answers will be of help to us all. And he can just give us some intel about uh, some lore information. I already talked to him a million of times. So let's just proceed with our task for now. What the fuck? We have an AK? Mercenary Scar from the star having an AK? Since when? Can I hide it somewhere so no one takes it from me? Mm, can I just drop it? Yeah, I can. Okay. That's so freaking weird. There is not much to tell, I was leading a group of scientists through the swamps when the emission hit. I remember nothing after that. I regained my consciousness here, so now you tell me what happened. How did you end up here? One after another and they let me here. <laughs> I'm kidding. Man. I like the guy. There was no place for me in that other world. He didn't want me. In the end I came here. First to the zone, and then to clear sky. The guys here are alright, and I mean it here. They come back here after a mission, I pour them a drink, tell a few dirty jokes, and my job is done. Simple but effective. By the way, they call me Cole. Um, about this, about this place, uh, would you give me a clue as to where we are? As you can see, it's a small sinking farmstead in the middle of romantic, endless swamps. I couldn't tell you where it is exactly, but it's the last place in the zone where you can meet real people. Guys who won't screw you, stab you in the back corners, let you bleed to death to save a med kit. I'm no stranger to the zone, yet I've never heard about Clear Sky. How do things work here? You've never heard of because too many people want to know about it. And the fewer that do, the better. Lebedev is our leader. The man is a rock if ever I've seen one. He's the glue that holds our whole group together. Then there's Binpolet, Professor Binpolet. He's like a walking encyclopedia and a calculator in one. Knows more about the zone than, well, anyway. Our technician's called Gray. He can make you a rifle out of an empty can with ammo to boot. He could use some spears, but uh, apart from that. And finally, we have Suslo. He's a traitor, but he ain't like the others of his trade. He won't try to rip you up or screw you. Cole, he knows what stuff is going to be with your dirty jokes. He I need to that. see him. Well, brother, if Libedev says he needs to see you, that ain't up for a discussion. Go on, I'll catch you later. 
Stop by for a chat anytime. This place is so boring. <laughs> the guy is very nice. He's also a trader, so he's pretty useful if you can say so. So there are a couple of interesting mechanics here in this game. Some things that was not some things that we were not able to do in Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. And we will talk about that after Lebedim. You look better, that's for sure. Let me fill you in on this situation. You're in the clear sky base. Don't try to remember who we are. You've never heard of us, and there's a very good reason for that. Our mission is to research the zone. We believe that the zone must be studied and understood so that humanity knows what it is facing here. Understanding is the key to coexisting with the zone. Because if you think about it, the zone is the most wondrous phenomenon humanity has been confronted with in its entire history. But why are you hiding? We are researchers. We are trying to figure out the nature of the zone, determine the reasons which caused it to appear, and formulate the rules that govern its existence. We are not consumed by a quest for money. We don't seek fields of artifacts, and we're not interested in turf wars with other factions. That is why we're hiding here in the swamps and concentrating on our research. Our forte is not combat, but knowledge. Knowledge of the zone, accumulated over years of research. We know more about it than stalkers and the government combined. And our research was finally shaping up into a sound, coherent picture until the massive emission a few days ago. What was so peculiar about it? We've had emissions no, before. That emission was incredibly powerful. It was on a level of its own. It was like a hurricane that swept the whole zone, changing it. Everything is different. The well-known and relatively safe areas have become highly radioactive and full of anomalies. But now you can access parts of the zone that have been unreachable for years. Even the most hardened stalkers don't know what awaits them on their favorite path. The other thing that changed is people. And that became evident right away. The emission destroyed the fragile balance between factions, and they're now warring for territory. In other words, many strange things have happened, and I don't yet fully understand the scale of these changes. It's only been a few days since the emission. If you ask me, the strangest thing of all is that you managed to survive it. If I knew how I survived, I'd tell you in a second, but I don't remember anything. See? How can I help you? I'd better leave. I'm pretty beat up, but I can still walk and hold a gun. How do I get out of here? Here isn't easy, not by a long shot. The swamps are a real maze of reeds and radioactive quicksand, swarming with terrible monsters and human scum. And I don't know which is worse. Only a guide can lead you safely out of here. We only have a handful of them. Guys, I would trust with my life without a second thought. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Because if I let you go, our presence here might not stay a secret for long. What are you trying to say? A very tough time here recently. The emission very tough the time. number of anomalies in the swamps, which made the area easily accessible for bandits and other vermin. There are so many of them, they'll be setting up camp in our base soon if we don't do something about it. The problem is that we're not really the fighting type, so we've been steadily losing ground. But you, one look at you, tells me you're a pro in that sort of thing. This is the second outpost. Your we're experience can save the lives of many. Help. Oh my god, they're talking That's so much I cannot teacher. answer. There's been another attack on our outpost. Help us fight it off. If it makes any difference, some of the boys who saved you are there right now. You still remember how to survive in the zone? Blah, 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 blah. Just wanted to check in. I'll go and sleep. The last few days were incredibly draining. I will join the next stream in full. Okay, Crystal All Night. Thank you for stopping by and saying hi. I hope you're going to have some rest. So, do we still remember how to survive in the, in the zone? I remember bits and pieces. Head over to the trader and he'll fit you out with some basic equipment. After that, head straight to the outpost. Once you're outside the base, listen to my advice. I'll try to guide you along. Okay. And yes, he told us we better... Is he going to talk to us now or later? Okay, later. 
we better not touch any liquids, any waters here because everything is super radioactive. And this is the trader that is going to give us some loot, but I have no idea. We have some AK in our inventory, where from? And I hope the trader doesn't mind, but I'm going to rob him a bit. Um, vodka, Gip. <laughs> Might be coming handy in terms of radiation cleansing. specifically for patrol missions thanks hey is it always this Been stressful here issue you some equipment there's no time for questions the boys need you now yeah I'm gone and we need to talk to the guide and he's going to take us somewhere do we still have our okay yeah I have no idea what is this gun this is the first time I see it in my inventory from the beginning like you really my full attention so, are you ready to go to the outpost? I'm ready. Let's go. I'll blindfold you. Well, I have to go, so enjoy streaming. See ya. Thank you for coming over. See ya. Come again next time. Nice. This is our inventory. So far, so good. And the inventory, by the way, it looks very similar to the next game. In the next game, it is going to look pretty much the same. Mark, there are anomalies ahead. Be careful. Remember, don't move until you've thrown a bolt in front of you. Okay. The anomalies here, they are a lot less visible than in the first game. And I, actually, the artifacts, they don't spawn on the floor anymore like in the first game. Now you have to find them manually with a detector. This one is going to beep the closer you are to the artifact. Aha! And I don't know if it is like in the next game. Jellyfish, by the way, they reworked the artifacts in this game, so uh, they are a bit more useful than in the first game. So, yeah, in the next game, the artifacts are actually moving in the anomalies, so it is harder to detect them. This is where we need to get, by the way. Run for the tower. The can get you there. I send the tower quickly, loot people. Because we are not going to come back here. Oof, it was close. You're, you're right on time, bro. I'm real low on ammo, so let's make the best of it together. Let's go. Kill the boys. No? They all died? On their own? Drop dead. And now we actually have a chance to see the emission. The birds died. This is such a cool detail, by the way.
Bam, 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 and we are back. Okay, let's talk to Lebedio. This guy is still sleeping. You what happened? The emission again. I'm not even that surprised. Our boys picked you up not far from the tower when things calmed down a bit. You know, Bien Polev was right. You defy scientific explanation. He believes that you acquired some, let's say, unusual abilities, which help you survive anomalous activity that would literally tear anyone else down to atoms. Also, it looks like something is increasing your body's performance in several areas, to the point that our monitoring equipment goes off the scale. Wefe, don't get too excited. There's always a fly in the ointment. Every emission harms your nervous system, and if this continues, you will die. Why do emissions occur a this often? Emission is the release of energy accumulated in the zone, a discharge, if you like. But what's happening now is completely different. In my opinion, the increasing regularity of these emissions is the zone's response to some sort of serious threat akin to the response provided by a human immune system. It is difficult to rationally explain coexistence between humans and the zone. The zone tolerates us in some areas and forbids us from going to others. Whatever is beyond the scorcher and further towards the center of the zone is taboo, a place where stalkers are not supposed to set foot. I think that recent events in the zone are related to the fact that someone broke that taboo and made it past the brain scorcher. Someone got past the scorcher? What risk does this pose for the zone? And one important announcement, this game takes place before the first game. It's hard to say. To answer that question, I would need to know what's in the center of the zone. Some say the monolith, others say the wish crater. The more unpretentious ones dream about fields of rare artifacts. I was at the power plant myself, a young specialist at the time, but I don't know what's there now. What I can say is that the Scorcher appeared for a reason. It prevents the center of the zone from being reached. People cannot go beyond the Brain Scorcher. Is there a real way to pass the Scorcher, even a theoretical I chance? I didn't think so until the large emission. Hell, nobody thought so. However, if you consider the emissions to be a defensive reaction, then the answer is obvious. Someone made it through the Scorcher, and the emission was the zone's response. And since the emissions haven't stopped, whoever it was must still be alive. The zone is trying to get them, and it's killing everything that's alive in the process. What is the danger of such frequent emissions? I know a lot about the zone, but I can't share everything with you. You'll just have to trust me on some things. A system, any system, needs to be in equilibrium. The zone is unstable right now, and this instability is increasing. If the constant emissions aren't stopped, the zone will become so unstable that a new disaster will occur. Which brings us to what Clear Sky is doing. We are trying to prevent that disaster. Prevent a disaster? You're not even strong enough to fight off You're bandits. Right. But we do know how to prevent a disaster and stop the emissions. And that means something. Lots of confidence you got there, so we what's have to the find plan? Who was in the center of the zone and stop them at any price. Okay. And why are you telling me this of There's all a people? Connection between you and the zone. On the one hand, every new emission gradually kills you. On the other hand, you survive in situations where others don't stand a chance. My gut feeling tells me that your abilities, your gift, your curse, call it what you will. They mean you can get through places that others wouldn't even dream of. And at the moment, we need to act very quickly. Hmm. Not sure I want to jump right in the thick of things. Why do I have to take part I in this? The answer is simple. If the emissions aren't stopped, your nervous system will burn out and you'll die. Help us, and you'll save yourself. Now this may sound like a line from a corny movie, but you really don't have a choice. Looks like my options are pretty limited. Unfortunately, yes. So, will you help us? 
Then listen carefully. Yes, let's go. We have made use of all our contacts and connections in the zone. As a result, we know that a certain stalker at the Kordon was asking Sidorovich about some very strange components. That's all we have for the moment. But it's a lead. Hmm, who was that stalker? I wonder. That will be fine. How do I reach the Kordon? How else? But remember what I said. After the emission, a whole army of all kinds of scum turned up in the area. Now they control almost everything. We are under siege, and I'm not exaggerating one bit. So before we can help you get to the Kordan, we have to regain control of the swamps. And with your help, I think we should be able to do it. Understood. Oh, now he's our friend. Buddy. Um, we have quite a lot of shit that I would like to get rid of, to be honest. That guy's going to talk to us right now, right? Wait a minute, reaching the Great Swamps is easy, our guides will lead you out, but if you want to actually survive there, you need to learn about the current tactical situation and your PDA's new features. This is some tutorial stuff, but I'd like to see it. So what's the tactical situation like? In war, shit. In two, deep shit. Okay. What must be done to gain control over the swamps? We use the enemy's number, Yasna. What are you doing here? Uh... This? What can you offer me option? It is available for many stalkers. They are actually selling you the stashes data. So you could buy it from someone and then you just go to the stash and loot it, right? Uh, tell me about my PDA's new features. Your main guide is the objective section. Your main objective okay. is displayed here. Together with a selected additional objective. There can be several additional objectives which you can cycle through using these buttons. Most objectives are also displayed on the map with the exception of rare occasions when your objectives cannot be located. We will need your help with not only destroying the enemy but also capturing key positions. In these situations our fighters will be grateful if you provide covering fire as they capture a position. By the way, don't ignore calls for help. Our boys' lives could be at stake. Hovering over a mark on the map will display additional information. In addition to your objectives, friendly units and identified enemies will also be displayed on the map. Okay, as I'm sure you understand, our main objective is to establish control over the swamps. And that means a war against the aggressor. This section allows you to access tactical information about combat operations at any time. Information about your current faction is displayed on the left. Right now, that's us. Clear sky. Information about the main enemy is displayed on the right. This shows our approximate combat strength. This shows how many fighters we have. And this is our equipment supply. I have no idea what all that Similar means. Similar indicators are also shown for our enemy. Finally, this field allows you to see the current strategic mission as well as tactical objectives that must be achieved in order to complete the strategic mission. Completed strategic missions will be displayed at the bottom. The last tab allows you to view your current relations with all factions as well as each faction's combat strength. Your personal stats are also displayed here. That's pretty much it. Okay, thank you. So the thing is that um, that faction war, it is such a cool feature, but it is not finished. And I'm so sad about that. You cannot even imagine because there are so many factions, so many wars, and those faction resources, faction squads, they don't really affect anything. Hello there. Oh, welcome, guest from foreign You keep That's just keep 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 yeah, keep I keep know. keep keep money, 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 money. Flash drive is data on super light Kevlar body armor. So yeah, the guy was talking about something, I don't really care. I'm just going to get rid of some weapons over here. Condition, holy shit. Ah, we have Argon here, so... Yeet. 
and this sheet. I don't need it. But yeah, it is such a cool feature. But sadly, it is not working so well. And you are only successful with this first uh, faction war between Clear Sky and the Bandits. And also, he gave us a flash drive. It weights barely anything. But you can bring it to the tech guy, for example, this one. And he's going to do that. No data for upgrade. So the tech guys here, they need data. But this, it's like, nah, I don't like those flash drives. They um, fall in the stashes. You can find them in the stashes or on some special guys that you need to kill. It's a, such a heavy grind for upgrading your shit. I mean, some of it is upgradable, but lots of the stuff like this, you need to find some uh, data, right? No, this in this case, we don't have enough of money, <laughs> but anyway. Okay, so uh, what do we still have to do? Oh, bandits. You can see some places, like this is a group of bandits displayed as red or mutants. Mutants here. If it is light red, that means they are going somewhere. In this case, renegades, which are bandits, they are going to that fishing who? Hamlet. Whatever it is. So yeah, you see all the units on the map in this game. Stalkers, bandits, mutants, and whatnot. And for example, you could also have such a nice war between loners and bandits. And here is the bandits layout. And bandits are actually neutral to us in this game. So bandits and renegades are not the same. But yeah. I wish, I wish it was worked through. For now, <laughs> capture pump station and go to the great swamps with a guide. Okay, but what else? We have a couple of other quests, right? No, only capture the pump station. Oh, well. What you need, stalker? Is there everything? that I picked up here. Let's talk to the cold real quick. Okay, he has nothing really interesting. What can you offer me? Our stash, secret stash is for your money. Blah, blah, blah. 300 for stash. Me. I have 300 exactly. I better get some money. Сталкер проблевался, выпал из туалета, достал гайку, метнул в сторону спальни, повтыкал, пополз. Тут же на его со всей дури сковородкой по голове хрясь. Сталкер раз отрубился, потом в сознание пришел, карту достал, место новой аномалии отмечает и бормочет. Вот это фортануло, так фортануло. Класс. Nice. But I guess I'm going to stop here. Uh, yeah, for now I'm going to stop. Next time I'm going to stream probably Saturday. Saturday definitely. Uh, earlier, I don't know if I'm able to stream tomorrow since I need to go out. But yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for chatting. And I hope to see you guys next time.